That's a crazy question. I mean, that's a, he's the world's most famous uh, street stencil artist, but uh, he has no identity. Like, he's never been, like, unmasked. Well, one thing that makes Banksy kind of hard to put down is, like, we only know him through his artwork because no one's ever seen him. I'm sure he gets a few, you know, confidence. But uh, even the videos of him putting his artwork in the museums, he's wearing a disguise, so no one really knows what he looks like. And that's kind of what makes him so cool, is that, you know, he's not out there just trying to promote himself. He's out there just promoting his artwork. I think he's definitely against corporations. I think he's, um, he doesn't like the idea that, you know, you have all these corporate billboards and up in your face telling you what to do, what to buy, what to go after. Definitely mocks a lot of uh, corporate America. I mean, like with the Ronald McDonald and um, Mickey Mouse walking together with the girl who's burning with, by napalm. He even expresses these feelings in his book, Wall and Peace. The people who truly deface our neighborhoods are the companies that scrawl their giant slogans across buildings and buses, trying to make us feel inadequate unless we buy their stuff. They expect to be able to shout their messages in your face from every available surface, but you're never allowed to answer back. Well, they started the fight, and the wall is the weapon of choice to hit them back. Punking of Paris Hilton, he uh, went and uh, got 500 of her uh, brand new CD that just came out, and then he took it home. He like remastered it completely. He changed the artwork. He got um, another artist to do the music for him, and then he uh, re-released it into uh, back into the store. So people who actually like could buy the CDs that he made, like they were like, and like no one noticed, about, like no one noticed it. And, like they just went through, and they, every single copy is sold. $100,000 watch. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. I definitely think he's against our society. I mean, what have they been doing, you know? It's um, a lot of pretentious work out there, you know? It's more about an artist in the, in the art world, you know, selling themselves than their actual artwork. That's what's so great about Banksy. He just totally skips all that. He takes his artwork straight to the people. Let the people decide. He mocks them like he turned Monet's garden. Like he just put all these like incident in there. Like it's like the, there's this trash now, and he changed uh, Warhol's uh, M Monroe to Kate Moss. He changed um, Van Gogh's flowers to be like so they're welting. I mean like he just he's just like not waiting for anyone's approval, and he's not gonna wait for other artists to say like oh that's good, and then everyone's like okay finally now we'll give you a gallery show, and he's just gonna go out and he's just gonna put it up without asking. <laughs> Banksy gets serious too. Many of his stencils have a political meaning to them. In recent events, Banksy took a trip to Palestine where he created several pieces on the walls that separate Palestine. I like Palestine because I'm obsessed with walls. My girlfriend, is, she calls herself a wall widow. I like how it takes only the smallest amount of pain to turn a ginormous wall into like a doodle pad. And I had to go to Palestine because they've got the biggest wall there is. It's also like the most ugly and um, inhumane thing I've ever seen in my life. Banksy's work has become more popular than ever. With newly released books and art shows, he is influencing a new generation of artists to continue his revolutionary style. As far as stencils affecting my artwork, it's become a lot faster. 
So maybe you understand that the lesson is more approach. Like Banksy's influenced my work in so many ways. Like, um, I mean, stencils are just so nice because you can do something so quick. Like you can put a picture up, and it doesn't have to be like it can just be one le like layer, and it's just you can put it up really quick and have like a whole bunch of people see it because you can put up like 20 stencils in a day compared to like one big ass graffiti piece. And you look at Banksy, and you're like. I'll forget the art world, you know? Let me just do my thing and then put my artwork out there. And that's what I like about him. That's what I feel he's, how he's influenced me. I was out there, no matter what the laws are, risks everything and makes these beautiful productions. Banksy is one of the greatest artists right now. No one knows really who he is. He's just out there doing his work. I think most, more artists should do that. Just get out there and do your work. Don't worry about your image. Get out there and put your artwork up. I think Banksy's one of the most important artists of our generation. I mean, he's the new Warhol. I mean, he's just not waiting for anyone else's approval. I don't know. Everybody get up. <laughs>